Hello. Well, uh, today I want to do something a bit different. Uh, also, please, uh, you know, yes, I look a bit different. I'm not wearing the hat. I actually just got out of the shower. Uh, and uh, my hair is wet, and I don't want to get the inside of my hat wet. Plus, I've done that before, and it feels weird after having a uh, wet head and hair and then putting a hat on. So, you know, for those regular uh, uh, regular viewers who know I wear this hat because, you know, I like Star Wars. Uh, I do have a Star Wars shirt, Star Wars themed shirt, so there you go. I hope you can uh, forgive uh, the lack of hat uh, in uh, this video uh, just because uh, I don't want to feel awkward and weird and I don't want to possibly adjust the hat which could possibly be very distracting so with that uh, long and quite honestly probably unnecessary explanation oh wait hey, today I as I said want to do something a bit different I want to talk to you about a uh, somebody a person uh, who has a channel on here uh, who I've talked to quite a bit through the comments of his videos and he he's exchanged a couple comments on like a video or two of mine if I recall correctly and um and even through Facebook we've talked to each other and um we're in certain groups and uh I've mentioned him before regarding certain films I've talked about and uh well, that person, his name uh, is Daisuke Beppu. Uh, Daisuke, Daisuke is a... Uh, uh, I consider him a very good friend. Uh, he made a video of me recently mm, uh, about uh, uh, him being fond of me, and I wanted to just reciprocate the feeling. Uh, you know, it's very mutual. I, I'm glad I found his channel, and I'm glad we've communicated and talked through how long we have. It's been many months. Uh, towards the end of last year, I believe. No. Or so. I can't remember now. It's been quite a while now. No. And, um, the past few months, he's uh, had a He's had live streams, and um, which is you know a film club where they were like. So far, right in this month, not necessarily much is happening until the very end of the month. Uh, but for these live streams, it was, you know, it was a film club, and they talk about like films, certain films of what we like about the movie or what we don't like about the movie. Sort of engage with not just Daisuke, but all the other people who join in, we can all have a conversation, it's really fun and great. No, for me it's 4 a 4 p.m. here, and for him it's 6 a.m., because um, he lives in Japan, um, and at this moment he's, at least the time of making this video, and probably when it's released, he's on vacation, so uh, he's, uh, you know, he's enjoying his vacation with his family. And he's talking about various films, and um, one thing he often talks about are films from the Criterion Collection. Now, I've talked about the Criterion Collection a decent amount, uh, and if you are a fan of the Criterion Collection, I'm sure you've come across his videos at some point. Um, you know, for instance, he talked about this film at one point, Sid and Nancy, and uh, I and others had uh, very good conversations regarding this. I enjoy this film. Uh, we were talking, and now, like, you know, Gary Oldman himself wasn't fond of this film, but, you know, he gave a great performance. I don't think anybody can deny that. Um, but I think some of the circumstances as to how he was brought into this film combined with him not 
being a fan of the Sex Pistols and punk music in general sort of, I guess, gave him his sort of negative feeling. However, you know, he has since said that he is thankful for this film because, you know, it's this movie that brought him to the limelight, you know, of sorts, you know, that brought him to the attention of Americans and other uh, people who hadn't necessarily seen some of his films because, you know, primarily in England, he didn't do many films before this. Um, I think a good bulk of it, uh, his filmography, if I recall correctly, was uh, for TV films. Uh, but primarily, he was really focused on doing plays. But, you know, and he and I had a discussion about that in the comments, and he had discussions in other, with others in the comments. And he's always been a very good guy. Every time I've talked to him, it's always pleasant. Uh, I always look forward to his videos. And with the live streams, I've always, I, I, I always look forward to it. And with him, you know, focusing quite a lot on Criterion, having the Criterion channel really helps me a lot. You know, I'm able to see a lot of these films that uh, uh, he's talked about, but I've never seen. And um, for the very end of the month, he's going to talk about uh, a film... Cinema? Life of Four Chapters. I feel I just got that name wrong. Uh, honestly, now that I'm trying to think back, I have what the film is called and you know, other movies too. So, uh, mostly about some of the conversations we've had regarding films from the Criterion Collection. So, apologies for getting the, uh, that film name wrong. The Life of Four Chapters is correct. And, Paul Schrader, the writer of uh, Taxi Driver, was the, uh, no, he was the director, writer, director. Um, I've looked up a little bit of the film, give a little synopsis. I'm very intrigued and I'm going to watch it soon um, in preparation for the live stream uh, coming at the end of the month. So, there's that. Um, yeah. But uh, uh, I will leave his uh, channel in the description of the video, as well as probably put it in the comments below. Just because, you know, he's a great guy. He has a great knowledge about films. No. Uh, yeah. He himself has said that he's not necessarily, uh, he hasn't seen many modern films, you know, just because, you know, of life and, uh, and sort of having like a list of his own that he wants to, you know, get through, um, of films he hasn't seen, uh, old and new, well, I guess they'd be new to you if you've never seen a film before, even though it might be, you know, uh, quite, If the film is uh, something you've never seen, it is new to you, even though it is pretty old. But, you know, I, I always enjoy talking to him. I always enjoy watching his videos. I always feel I learn something new about a film. Even if we disagree, there's a... It's always very... It's always a pleasant exchange of a, of a dialogue. It's always pleasant, even if, uh, you know, for instance, I, I like The Dark Knight Rises the best of the Dark Knight trilogy, as I've often talked about. He prefers the, he prefers Batman Begins the best, mm -hmm. and likes The Dark Knight what, Rises the least. That's a, an instance where we don't uh, see eye to eye on, but we, we, we basically see where each other is coming from. You know, he really just loves how... Mm -hmm. Everything that Batman Begins just plays out. He loves from the, the uh, brief discussions on the matter. He really loves, from what I can recall, it's been a while since we've talked about this, but um, um, he uh, just just how the film really uh, just develops over the course of you know two hours. 
But I don't blame him. You know, it's a great film. I love that film. Um, for me, I think the story of Bruce Wayne throughout the Dark Knight trilogy gets better with each film. And uh, how everything ends with the Dark Knight Rises is just... Uh, I just... I've just always loved it. Um, but I've also... I also love Batman Begins, and I love The Dark Knight. I love all three. Um, so, you no, know, that's just an that's just an example as to us not necessarily seeing eye to eye, but you know, we're very respectful. And uh, if you haven't if you haven't his videos before, um, he's not strictly uh, focused on the Criterion Collection. He love he he's a fan of the Criterion Collection, but he talks about other films that aren't in the Criterion Collection or possibly part of other home media labels like uh, Arrow Home Video or Shop Factory, Screen Factory. You know, he's, he's just a fan of various films. You know, it's not just limited. If it's not in the Criterion Collection, I don't want to see it. You know, he likes various films. So, uh, uh, if you're interested in somebody who has a, a wide knowledge of films, has a lot of interest in movies, you uh, watch some of his videos, he's a great guy, um, and this past live stream, because he, he's been doing a couple of those live streams uh, in spare time he has on his vacation, and I've been able to pop in, and I asked him if it'd be cool if I made a video about him, or basically dedicated to you, to him, you, I hope you're watching, uh, uh, just to show my appreciation for him and how he's really inspired me to want to consume more films. I always want to consume more films that I can. I always want to broaden my uh, knowledge and library of films that perhaps I just haven't heard of or seen or maybe not thought much about. Uh, or even if I've watched a film, wasn't fond of it, uh, just hearing him talk about the film, you know, if it's a positive light, makes me wonder about, maybe I should, like, you know, check it out again. Um, that's the kind of person uh, he is. He's a very genuine person. I don't s see anything fake with him. He's a very down-to-earth guy. He's a great guy, and, uh, yeah. Uh, if you don't necessarily agree with him on a film, and you write a comment uh, saying so, as long as it's, you know, he's he's gonna be he'll respectfully uh, converse with you. You know, even if you don't necessarily, you guys don't see eye to eye, it's be a very respectful conversation, and um, he's just a very guy, pleasant guy to talk to and watch. You know, I always wish him well, him and his family. Uh, uh, I, I always, I really wish the best for everybody. Um, whenever I, you know, even if I don't necessarily say so, I, I do. Even if I you know, write a comment, I don't say, hope you have a good day or wish you the best or something similar. I, I, I want to say that more, but... Sometimes you don't necessarily think about it, uh, particularly if it's uh, pertaining, if it's a certain subject, if you're watching a certain video on a channel, you might frequent, might not come up also. But, you know, he's somebody who I always hope has a good day and is doing well. Him and his family. Um, he's somebody I would like to one day meet and talk to uh, a lot more. You know, in person, just like maybe have a one-to-one -one conversation about whatever. I think that'd be cool. He's expressed interest in of that as well. And I'd like to go to Japan one day. Um, uh, you know, it'd be. F I think it would be fun to do. And uh, culture is. Uh, you know, the Japanese culture is is different from American culture, yet sort of the same in various ways. You know, it's different, yet there are similarities. You know, 
both countries like technology quite a bit. You know, um, that's just a, that's an interest we both share. And uh, also films and movies. You know, I love a lot of the films from Japan, particularly Akira Kurosawa, which I've often talked about. I want to talk more about. I've mentioned some films of his I've gotten in the past, and Daisuke and I have conversed about uh, some of his works, and we share similar thoughts regarding certain films about like what what's our favorite. Uh, my favorite is Yojimbo, and I believe that's Daisuke's favorite uh, as well. At least regarding the Criterion Collection. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, Daisuke, Daisuke is a great guy. Uh, if you watch his videos, if you like his content, you know, like, please subscribe to him. He's great. Some people over from his channel, you know, they, uh, came over and subscribed to mine. So to those who, you know, have done so and are watching this video, hello to you. Uh, I hope you like some of the content I make. Uh, uh, understandably, you know, I do try to, I've been trying to broaden my uh, scope regarding what I talk about regarding movies. Um, so if you go back and watch some of my previous videos I do talk a lot about Star Wars and Batman and stuff I'm, I'm very interested in that stuff but still you know I'm like I feel like I've talked a lot about those things those topics and I kind of want to not you know stay on those topics all the time you know I want to broaden my uh, scope and there are some films here you know I want to talk about Tarantino films you know I might talk about uh, his fil those films next because you know, his new movie's coming out so I think that would be a great uh, thing to talk about next week uh, Daisuke has expressed very positive sentiments regarding uh, Tarantino and his work um, so you know another thing we have in common um, but you know He's a great guy. I hope you, uh, well, uh, go in the description or in the pinned comment and just take a look at his channel, watch some videos of his. His videos can also be, it can be long, but then again, my videos are fairly long as well. Uh, but he does go, he does give reasons as to why he likes his particular film and I think that's really great. His passion for film also has helped fuel my passion for film even more than more so than it already was before. So I thank you, Daisuke, for that even more. And I uh yeah. I could continue and go on, but you know just watch some of his videos. Just watch some of his videos Hopefully you'll like them, and uh, you'll want to subscribe and watch more. Perhaps you'll even be there for the film club uh, uh, live streams that he does. Uh, at least pop in there to say hello. Uh, he's always pleasant, and um, yeah, he he deserves as many subscribers as he uh, can get. He truly does. Uh, He's just a great guy. And uh, at the very least, so subscribe to him for that. He's just great. He's always pleasant to talk to. Even if you might disagree with him regarding a certain film or a filmmaker, he's always pleasant to engage in a conversation with. And that's another reason I just love coming back to him. He's always so friendly. And I love that. I love when people are quite friendly, even if you disagree. There's a mutual respect that's there that you have for each other. And uh, I hope to one day meet you, Daisuke. Uh, again, hope you're doing well. I hope you have a great, you're having a great vacation. Uh, you're in Hawaii, uh, uh, if I recall correctly. 
Hope you're having a great time there. I've never been to Hawaii, so hopefully one day I'll get there. Um, but, you know, hope you, uh, you're you having a great day and a great vacation. Hope you all have a good weekend. Same as you, you all watching this. I hope you all have a great week and a great weekend. And, uh, yeah, till next time. I shall see you all next time. Yeah. <laughs> I can repeat myself in there. It happens. But anyway. Yeah. Till next time. Have a pleasant day. <laughs>